Hello and welcome to a new beginner series looking at learning some HTML5, CSS and JavaScript by making Space Invaders. So the idea of this series then is to make the little application you can see on the screen now which uh, uses just HTML5, mostly CSS and a little bit of JavaScript to create a more or less fully working Space Invaders game. You can see on the screen that um, we've got explosions, scrolling stars and meteors and a ship and the high score and the score and lives and all sorts of things like that which go into a game. And I thought it would be a really good idea to use something like this as a, a platform for learning uh, how to program some HTML5, JavaScript and CSS. So to do the coding in the series, um, you've got really, well, there are three options really I like to choose. Um, we'll need some kind of interface for actually writing the HTML code, our JavaScript and our CSS. Um, one of those and my favorite is Visual Studio Code. You can see that here on uh, uh, the, with the website here. Uh, another good one is Sublime Text. Uh, which is at version 3 now I think. It's really really nice as well. Uh, you can go to the site here and find the download. And another really good one, a classic one then, is Notepad++ which you can see here which um, also has the link there for download and is also just as good to use. For the actual programming of this we won't need any special app or anything like this. We'll just be using any basic text editor and like I said my own personal preference is, uh, is Visual Studio Code. I'll also be doing this uh, on a Windows based computer and usually I use Linux, um, so forgive me for silly errors I might make uh, with the Explorer and things like this, but I think most people seem to use Windows and most of the feedback I've had involves Windows, so I've decided to write this on uh, a Windows computer. So we'll be learning, and I'm trying to intend this series really to be for people to really learn from nothing, so no experience whatsoever. However, it always helps to have a little, and there's a site called w3schools.com which has really good short um, tutorials. And just to give you a little bit of a summary, we'll be using the HTML5 as a, as a basis. We'll be doing some CSS, which you can see on the screen here, as well for styling of the colors and things on the web page. And in the background we'll be using JavaScript and we'll also be using jQuery as well which is just helps us uh, use JavaScript in a slightly more efficient way. So if you want to have a bit of background knowledge before you start then I would recommend having a quick look at w3schools.com but even if you don't, don't worry, it'll be quick, it'll be fast but you can get going really with basically uh, zero knowledge. The code itself is on a GitHub repository I've now created um, uh, you'll find that you can see the link here. It's under Blue Fever Soft and HTML Invaders. As I upload the videos, all the code will be updated on there and available for download, which I think is a lot easier than the option I used to have on the older videos. And I have to give a, a really big uh, mention to the game art that I'm using for this particular application. Um, there's a really good website called opengameart.org. I used to draw my images and things myself, like in the Flappy Robin series or something like that. Um, I had a look on here and I found a particularly good package with uh, Space Shooter graphics which looked really, really nice and was available from this site for free. And the person or the site that actually provided these uh, computer graphics was this um, Kenny.nl. Um, absolutely amazing uh, styling and graphics and very, to be honest, very, very cheap packages of lots and lots of images and sprites and things available. I used a Space Shooter Deluxe set, I think it was called, from Open Game Art, which is free, but I felt it was only right really to give a big credit and also a thank you to this uh, Kenny, and I would recommend making a donation or something there if you end up using the graphics, because they really are very, very good and of a high quality standard and have saved me a huge amount of time, because I'm rubbish at doing this and it takes me a long time to make the graphics myself. So to get started, you'll need to download one of the editors, have any text editor on your computer, have a quick look, may look maybe at uh, W3 schools and the, the tutorials there. And when you're good to go, then, uh, then we're all ready to start coding and we can start with chapter one, video one, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks very much for watching.